Greetings everyone. Today's project, I need to work on the snow plow for the Can-Am. The skid shoes were starting to wear out and uh, one of the actual, the bottom pad of the skid shoe uh, fell off when I was plowing the other day. And uh, today the other one fell off and so I just had the stems. I have some skid shoes on order and they're on their way, but the problem is we have not received mail or any kind of packages for over a week now because of the storms. So um, thankfully, you know, I can still get out with my vehicles and get to the hardware store. And I was able to come up with an idea for fabricating some temporary skid shoes for the plow. So. Uh, let me show you what I did. So you can see the, the bottom skid plate part is missing from the skid shoe. It had just worn down to wherever it's welded or I'm not sure how they make these, but uh, that's what I was working with there. And that, I mean, that's not gonna skid very well and it's going to get caught on a lot of stuff so got that off and I went I'll show you the hardware that I bought to create a temporary skid shoe so what I got from the hardware store was I got a seven inch carriage bolt and the other thing I got was a mal washer uh, I believe this is three quarter mal washer. Uh, it is. And so I thought that kind of looks like a skid shoe. So in order to tighten this down so it stays in place, the threads don't quite go uh, all the way down far enough. So I'm going to put three washers on there. And then I got a, uh, a nut, a locking nut with the nylon in it. So I'm going to run that down and that'll hold everything tight and then um, I'll put the rubber on the on the post as well and get it set with other washers to the height that I want. So let me get that tightened up and I'll be right back. All right, there we go. Everything's locked down there. So let me get... Um, the rubber washer and a few more washers and we'll try to get this set at the right height we'll set the blade down so that looks a little high let's take those washers out and just put the the rubber snubber against the uh, locking nut. That looks a little better. I think once I get the washers on that side set uh, and it lifts that side of the blade up, this corner will come down. So let me go get the other one put together and we'll see how it sits on the ground. Actually, I need to find a nice flat section too. This uh, part of the driveway has a little bit of a hump. So I'll probably move to another section so uh, we can get a nice flat spot. So I've got them set up on both sides. I just need to thread the lock nut on the top. I guess the other thing would be too, if you wanted to, you could save a little money and just uh, drill a hole and use the um, hitch pins or lynch pins. I'm not sure what they're called, whatever comes with the, the skid shoes you have. But uh, I just got a couple of more um, locking, locking uh, nuts because all of my tools and drill bits are down at the house build location. So uh, let me get this tightened up and uh, we'll go try it out. So I just tightened the locking nut down enough to where it will stay on uh, in case I have to go under there and add some more washers. But... Uh, 
Let's go give it a try and see how it lays out on the street, which is uh, much more flat. So it's looking pretty good. When I pick up the blade and set it back down, it comes down and rests on the, the rubber snupper part. So I think I'm gonna add maybe one washer on there and see if that makes a difference. It almost seems like it's sitting on the backside of the wear blade there. So um, I, I want it like just barely skimming right there. So let me put a washer on and see what that does. So the weight of the blade pushed that rubber snubber over the locking nut that I put on the bottom. So uh, with it, the way it's riding, pretty good, pretty close. So if I lift this up, put a washer on and put this back down, I think it's going to be sitting up much, much too high. So I'm going to put the washer right here and build it up that way. So I am really digging that ride height. That looks looks just right. I am just barely above the blacktop. So let's give it a try. There's a fair amount of snow still left in the street. So here's the section that I'm going to try it on. I was out earlier and cleared this section over here where the mail driver, uh, postal delivery person, if they come today, they can actually get to my mailbox. But let me try the new skid shoes on this section here. so I'm pretty happy with the height on that. Um, I imagine the heads of those carriage bolts will probably wear down a little bit so that'll bring me even a little closer. And if there is a, a good failure point in this temporary fix, it would be the head of those carriage bolts. Uh, so it'd be interesting to see how long they last. Um, I could maybe do a follow-up video uh, after this storm and let you know, uh, give you a shot of how much those carriage bolt heads have worn off. But uh, otherwise, so I'll put that on the end of this video if I haven't edited it yet, but if it's uploaded, I'll do a video later. But uh, anyway, this was a, a quick way that I thought I could get some kind of a skid shoe on the, um, the plow and keep me up and running until I can get uh, the postal company to deliver the packages. Um, I may even try to go to the post office, uh, see if I can get down there and pick up the packages myself and pick up the mail since uh, it's, I guess, been too treacherous for them to come out. I hope you enjoyed this video. I want to thank you all for watching and uh, I appreciate all the subscribers. Uh, at the time of this video, we're getting close to 300 subscribers. So, Thank you very much, uh, everybody that keeps coming back. And uh, I'll see you on the next video. So here is a shot of the homemade skid shoe. And you can see the carriage bolt has um, worn down quite a bit. That was after three days of plowing snow. So what I'm thinking I'll do is uh, I have a buddy who welds, and I think what I'll have him do is just weld all of this together, the the nut washers and the, the mal washer. So that way, if the head of the carriage bolt complete wear, completely wears off, 
it'll just start wearing into the skid shoe. So that's the update on the homemade skid shoes.